Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Happy holidays. So here what I have done for you guys and I apologize because I'm going to look all kinds of different ways because I did mom life. I took more than one day for me to film all of this, but thank God for editing, right? So I filmed a series for you guys. I'm going to split it into I think three or four videos. Um, one being eyebrows, the other one being eyelashes and eyeliner. They're the three main things I always get asked how I do my makeup. How did I learn? How do I do it? So I'm just going to break it down into tricks I've learned over the years. Um, how I personally do it and what works for me. Really guys, it just takes practice. Practice, 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 practice. I cannot say it enough. Just when you think you got it, practice some more. <laughs> so enough about that i'm gonna go ahead and get started on these videos so here is the first one like i said it is a series i hope you enjoy uh if you guys have any suggestions as to what else to film or what other thing you would like me to try definitely let me know down in the comments below i'm open-minded to suggestions or you know whatever i do want to do some holiday looks coming up so hopefully i get that done for you guys soon but that is it. Here is the videos. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for watching. Hey, guys. So today I'm going to show you how to do your liquid liner. I've already done one eye. I'm going to show you on this other eye how to do it. Okay, so here's what I like to do. I like to get a liquid liner. This one is a, a Sephora one. It's waterproof with a very fine tip right here because it helps, you know, make that wing be very sharp. And of course it takes a steady hand. Sometimes I don't even breathe as I'm doing it. And then what I do is I just kind of get the shape of the wing that I want. They're not gonna come out perfect, okay? Just know that. Like your eyebrows, as much as you try and it takes a lot of practice, you are never gonna get them exactly the same and that's okay, but they can look pretty similar. Okay, so just know that right off the bat. And it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of practice. And then I use another light liquid liner with a different kind of tip. This one's more of a wand, you see, to color it in. And I go for like the blackest black color. <clears throat> so here's how I like to start out. I like to go from the end here from my lower lash line and kind of start drawing out a line this way so it goes with the shape of your eye. So, okay, I'm not covering you guys, just so I could see. And it dried on me because I took the top off. Give me a second. But you see, start getting a little line. It's not going to be perfect and that's okay. Just lightly, lightly, light strokes. You'll get the shape you're looking for. Just patience and go as slowly as you can. Okay? Okay, so then what I like to do is kind of start coloring this in here. So I can start bringing a shape in. I do that just to kind of bring the shape in. Then I'll look to see how symmetrical the wings are. This one's still it's short compared to this other one. So just close the eye. And start drawing it out slowly. Like if you notice, I go this way and that way just to kind of sometimes even just pressing the tip of the the eyeliner. You um you can get the what you want over here at the end.
So see, it didn't really come out, but it's great because this can definitely show you how to fix that. So don't worry, I got you. So in the meantime, what we're gonna do is ignore that little bit. <clears throat> I use also the back of my hand to clean anything out and just, you know, be able to dab back in and then uh, refine it a little better. So it comes out all globby. Just take out as much as I can. Kind of like nail polish, you could think of it that way. Back of your hand or the uh, component itself. I like to start close to the lashes and then work my way up. And then I always like to try to make sure I have it at like at the flattest point. Then to get on the inner corner of my eye, I either use that one or I can still use this one, but I'll open my eye just to make sure I go along with it. So the flattest part. I do the funniest faces, so I apologize if I look kind of crazy. <clears throat> but it's just what works for me to get it where I need it to be. <laughs> So I get it to where I think I am happy with it. And that looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more this way. Again, with my eye open. <clears throat> then any little bit I get underneath, I'll just clean it out with a Q-tip. So now to clean this side and fix it. Let me see where you go. <laughs> Looking for my concealer brush. Oh, there it is right here. Okay. Now my concealer. All right. <clears throat> so here you just get a tiny little bit. The back, it's the tiniest little dot. It's the Maybelline Master Conceal. I love this. So just with the tiniest little bit. And that feels like too much. Just the tiniest little bit. Get your mirror. And then just from the eye, same motion. Start cleaning it up. If it feels like a lot of product, just clean it on the back of your other hand. Because remember, you always want to start less is more, the tiniest bit. And just start cleaning it out. Light strokes, light, light amount of product and a light hand. And again, remember, practice, guys. Okay. All right. So now, here's what I would do. Where's that brush? Work on the ends here. Making sure you work that concealer in. And don't worry, this will get fixed. I'll show you how. Just brush it. Or like push it in. And see, look, I have allergies. So you see how it starts running in the corner of my eye? So that's why Q-tips are your best friend. 
especially if you have allergies and you have this kind of problem. Just clean it out. Nothing big. No biggie. There, and then go back to fixing that. There we go. Okay, so here. I'm going to use one of these just to clean out this bit. And I drag this down just because I could work it a little bit better. See, I made the line disappear a little bit more. And now, go back with <laughs> the uh, eyeliner. Try to do this in one swoop without screwing it up again. Then as far as color, because I did take out the eyeshadow color I had there, you can go ahead and fix it again really quick with whatever's left on the brush. And it doesn't have, you don't have to go back in and get more. I mean, you can if you want to, but usually whatever's on the brush is more than enough. Right. <clears throat> so, like I said, back with the liner. There we go. And I'm pretty happy with that. So that is how I do my eyeliner. See, even I have mistakes that happen. I have things not cooperating, but you go back, you touch it up, guys. Very, very easy. And just go ahead and put a lipstick or a lip gloss and you're set. <laughs> So that is it guys, that is a series of videos I pre-recorded to go ahead and show you guys a few techniques, give you some advice. Uh, I've had a few of you ask me, you know, go ahead and try this out. Many of you are just friends of mine and that's okay. Anybody else who maybe happens to come across this, if you found something in it that you like, for sure go ahead and let me know if any video of mine that you watched resonated with you or taught you something or cleared a little bit something up that you weren't sure about go ahead and give me a like down below comment anything you want me to try that maybe i didn't do and i'm pretty good about replying back to you anyways if it's a series that you want to keep watching or you want to follow up with anything extra i do go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i will be posting i've decided that i'm gonna make sure my post days are every single thursday i want to say at least I'm going to make it every single Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm on the, you know, West Coast, so Pacific Standard Time is my time zone. I will be posting every single Thursday at 10 a.m. So stay tuned. Make sure you check out my channel because I will have different videos rolling in for you guys. As I said, anything I used, um, I will link it down below. Put any appropriate links there, any names, because I know some I had a hard time uh, pronouncing. But everything will be down at the bottom bar describing every single thing I used. And any questions, just let me know. Send me a comment.